fans and welcome to another morning skate report. Behind me currently, the nailers are on the ice for their morning skate. The Jackals took to the ice earlier for their morning skate. Tonight, the Jackals take on the nailers for the fifth time this season, and the Jackals are 0-4 against the nailers. I got caught up with John Borbo and talked to him about tonight's game in November. So you guys lost, obviously, in a shootout, tough loss. What do you guys have to do the second one so far this season? Is there anything you guys could have done to help get the win. Um, if we look at that game in Reading, I think there's there's a lot of positives we can draw from it. Uh, one of the positives was we kind of had a never quit attitude. Uh, we got down in the game and and uh, everybody stayed positive on the bench and we kind of fought our way back into it. Um, we gotta we gotta keep with with that. Like work ethics uh, important. Anytime you're having uh, the struggles for the season, the uh, the best thing you can do is just work through it and hopefully get on the right track. And I think that's. That's the direction we're going right now, uh, but yeah, that we, we we had a lot of positives from that game and a lot of offensive chances, and, and those are the things that we need to continue doing. And then um, going on last week was talking about defense needing to step it up. What, is, what have you guys all been working on for defense and forwards as well? Uh, we kind of just have our game plan, and that's you know be strong defensively. Uh, you know, we, we take risks when we need to, and and. When we don't, just be solid in our end. Uh, uh, one of our main focuses is kind of to get back to pucks quickly and, and, and just, you know, be hard be hard on the puck and make that first good play. As soon as we get that first play underway, we're, we're able to get out of the zone and it, and it makes us more successful in the game. And what has it been like after being on the road for so many games to finally be home, obviously with just the one in the middle being away, but what's it like being at home in front of the home crowd? Oh, it's, it's nice. I mean... Uh, we, our, our barn's a hard barn to play in, and, and our fans really, really are behind us and support us 100%. So it's a, it's a good rink to play in and a good atmosphere. And, and uh, we just gotta, we gotta come out with a, you know, kind of a hard no style of play to start the game and get them into it and, and get their support on our side uh, throughout the game. But uh, no, it's, it's, it's nice to be at home, and it's, you know, we can, we can eat on our schedule, and, you know, we're not traveling on the bus. so... Those are, those are positives, and, and obviously it's it's going to work to our advantage, hopefully. Then can you give us an update on November, obviously, in the last push in the last few days? How much have you guys raised so far? Um, we've been able to raise $215, which is which is awesome. I mean, any any amount of money that we can contribute towards uh, towards a cause like this is, is uh, an exciting thing. So uh, some of the mustaches are getting pretty long, and... Uh, and Pretty nice. So, uh, no, we, uh, we've we raised $215, and, and it's, uh, you know, we're a little short of the goal, so hopefully people can, can help our cause this weekend. But uh, we're thankful for everybody who's contributed, and, and we're thankful to, to work towards a good cause. Thanks, Sean. Jackals fans, don't forget to come on down in the arena and see the Jackals take on the Bailey Mailers tonight at 7.05 p.m. on this Friday. And until next time, enjoy the Myers.